Hi, Sandy here. Today I'm going to make some yellow borders and tags. I've been going through my colors. I sort all my stuff by colors, so I I kind of work all in one color because it's just easier that way because I got so much stuff it would just be really complicated using a lot of colors. So I've got these pre-made borders. I use my scraps and I glue together strips and so I got the, their, their border bases. Um, and then I got a lot of these tags that I have made. I used the back of cereal boxes, the um, calendar card stock, um, the covers and backs of um, paper pad uh, pads, you know. Um, I've got these, these are my yellow things that I use for um, uh, pro creating stuff. Uh, they're like Project Life cards, but I don't do Project Life. Now, like this one, I can journal on, and I like to make borders and tags that I can write stuff about the scrapbook page on because I use them on my scrapbook pages. So, and then I got smaller things I can make embellishments with, just things I can create stuff with. And then this is all of my yellow stickers. I don't have a lot of yellow stickers. Uh, and then this, this is my book of words, and this is the yellow section. I like to add words to the stuff. Um, I've got some yellow silk flowers, some yellow, um, this is my yellow buttons, and I got yellow um, sequins. I don't use much of those. Uh, use some yellow bulky things that you would use glue dots for. And then I printed these things from Pinterest. These are going to be my subjects. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different. I like to make a lot of them at the same time. And I'm at my craft table here in my craft room. Um, and over here, I have this folding table. And I'm going to set up um, my camera stand over here. And so you can, and I'm going to run it fast motion. So I'm going to collect a bunch of stuff that I'm going to glue together and create a whole bunch of tags and borders all at once. And then after I get them all put together, um, then I will move my camera over to my desk and, and I'll glue them together. And you can see them in detail as I'm gluing them, them together. So, um, hope you enjoy it and I'll be right back.
did you see that? I try not to think too much about what I'm doing. Just throw some stuff together and create. This I'm going to cut out. I don't need all this background on here. It says make at a life worth living together. Honestly, this is the first time I've just tossed things on there like that. I usually sometimes give a little bit more thought, but I decided to go a little crazy today. But I do like to make several all at once. I, I just, I don't know, I just like doing that. I'm really kind of an impatient scrap crafter. I don't like things that have a lot of detail. Although it might look like it's a lot of detail here, but... <laughs> Um, when I make my scrapbook pages, I just like to put on the, the photos and slap on a tag. And, and I might add a couple more things, but basically a tag or a border. And, and my page is done when I do my scrapbooking. Oh, what was that in the back? Well, that wasn't blue. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. I'm kind of just laying this out right now. I don't really have a plan. Oh, there, I, see, I got a nice Victorian house with a pretty fence. Um, I've got this flower. Um, of course I got my little scraps of paper to glue off on the edge. Ended up with an extra one there. I really want this pink to show. Okay, and then I think I will put, um, the flower here with a small button on it. And, um, let's see, I can move this down some. I think I'll put the butterfly at the top and here's a little, another little tiny silk flower I'll put that right there and a button and another button just throw it together and stick it on there <laughs> that's how I do it okay Oh. gathered up a few tools here to play with um do I want to yes I think I want to round the corners on this I, I love my little corner rounding tool gives it more of a finished look like I bought it instead of printed it yeah I printed this off Pinterest oh that didn't work out got folded in there okay I'm ready to start gluing. Sometimes I use little rectangle pieces, but today I had a lot of little um squares, so I'm going to use those. Just try not to think much about it and and create. That's how I like to do it. Seems to be in a shadow here. I don't usually seem to have that problem. Well, it's kind of off camera, I hope so. I guess it's not that bad. Got a glob of glue on there. I'm going to pick that up. Glue that on my finger. Okay. Let's see. Put 
connect the dot there. I think I was going to put this here. Just a couple of buttons left. I like to have the radio playing or the computer playing. It seems so quiet tonight for some reason. It just seems really quiet. Okay, now I got some rhinestones here. I need to put a little rhinestone in the center of this flower. I should just, yeah, I'm going to leave those on. I, I've been just pull, put them away, put them away, put them away, take them out, put them away. <laughs> just leave it out. Till I'm done. There. Okay. Well, for a random creation, it's not bad. Okay, this one. Of course, I'm going to round the corners. I think I will trim this down. I'm going to get crazy and just do my freehand. I'm going to trim this down a little bit just so it doesn't overlap off the side so much. So this will be a tag that I can ride on. We cleaned the house today. <laughs> Tuesday's our housework day. This is Tuesday. And I vacuumed up all these little quarters off the floor. Uh, it's a hardwood floor, but we, you know, I've had dogs for over 30 years and um, we've had carpet and now for the last 16, 16 years about a year after we moved in this house we um, took out the carpet and put in uh, about a year after we moved in we put in uh, uh, floors we took some some rooms had hardwood floors we had a laminate floor and various flooring throughout out the house no carpet um, so, um, I discovered a few years ago, I used to sweep the floor every week. And we have dogs, and the hair would go flying everywhere. And then when you mop the floor, you got hair all over the floor. So, uh, all over your mop. So, that's not a good plan. So, um, I didn't even lay this out. I'm just kind of winging it. So I discovered we, if you get one of them little um, um, stick vacuums that does not have a beater bar, it's just an inexpensive little stick vacuum. Um, Walmart used to have them for like twenty dollars. Now they're like twenty-five dollars, and actually they're pretty cheap and they don't last more than a couple of years. And you got to buy another one. But you know what? When you vacuum your hard floors. Uh, that it doesn't have that beater bar kicking your your fur and your the sand that gets tracked in. You don't have that getting kicked all over the house. <laughs> so it's it's good. This is sticky on the back, but I'm gonna add some glue. You know what? I think I'll add some liquid. Glue. Okay, and what's right side? This is a, it's hard to see. It's its like a bubble. And it's got, I've got glue right there. I don't care, it's clear glue. It's got a dragonfly inside. I'm trying not to cover up my butterfly, but you know what? You, you need to overlap things. You know, not, everything can't just be in its own spot. Overlapping gives it a lot more character. And that's kind of a skill I had to learn to overlap things layer things you know so I got this arrow here for for no reason whatsoever you know what I, oh we got here's the story I was gonna say I don't have any words on here but it says here's the story okay I got this um that's kind of crooked I got this two yellow birds in a basket really cute okay and I got this, I, I think I used um, the Sizzix that my friend gave me to, to punch out this flower. See, here I'm going to overlap. 
let it hang off the edge a little bit. Here's a flower. Just a flower sticker. I'm going to put that oh, here. Okay, I'm going to use the button for uh, the center of the flower. Not that one. Oh, this size. Okay. I think I need a little bit more on here. A little bit more. I'm going to steal this foam thing. And if you've seen my videos before, how I put the stickers on wax paper, um, well, it, it just peeled off some wax paper and stuck. So maybe it's just the old stickers, but these old foam stickers. I hope I don't have any more problem after they've been on there a while. This is pretty sticky. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. Maybe that's why it damaged it. Oh, it's got this little centerpiece in there. Yeah, I'll leave it. Let's see. I'll put it here. Now this flower, I want it to stand out some more. So I'm going to get a marker. Do I have a brown marker? I'd rather use brown than black. Doesn't look like it, but that's fine. Black is fine. So I'm going to... I like to do a dotted line like stitching. And I don't... I don't <laughs> concentrate much. I just dap, dap, dap and if it's crooked or not even it's there you go looks just fine to me um maybe i will draw a little circle in the middle like this is a flower yeah and that's such a great idea well we live and learn and you know what i'm gonna just for the fun of it i'm gonna put a rhinestone right there no reason just doing it. Okay, now if I need something to, to journal on a page, I got something nice to journal with. So there's another one done. This one I threw a bunch of stuff on. Um, so it's got some bees on it. Maybe I don't want to cover things up too much. Uh, I got sunflower. It's like a like a seed packet sort of. Uh, and they're square. I'm not gonna round the corners on that one. And because it's got um, the seed packet name on there. Oh, I was going to put this under there. This is a piece of vellum. I had some sheets of vellum. I'm not buying any more because I just wasn't using them. And I cut them up into shapes. Uh, uh, some strips for the, my borders. Um, some photo mats. Um, some squares, rectangles, and circles to use for embellishments. Or just like a little background right there. Just for no reason. So now I've used that. And I even cut that with my fancy scissors. So it's got a nice little edge on it. See, I glue these into my book with just a little bit of glue. And then sometimes you get some stuff on stuck to the back. But that's not a big problem. Once you glue it down, you'll never see the back. Okay. So there's a little place to journal. This says be happy. So I got my little little things to hang off the edge. So my husband works 12 hour days normally it's like um three or four days a week and then in a row and then three or four days off and then back to work and it kind of rotates i think i'm not sure 
he's only been doing it for at this job for um, like four months and uh, now there's a guy he works with who I guess he broke his leg or something and um, my cat's meow and he wants in I'll let him in in a minute but anyway the, somebody broke his leg and he's he's not working for several weeks so my husband has been working 10 days in a row and then I think he had three or four days off and he just started another round of 10 days so he's uh, he's wonderful he helps with the housework every week we do the housework on Tuesdays but last week and this week I said you're not doing any housework you don't have to do the housework so my daughter and I do it did it this time but we clean the house on Tuesday we well we do is dust vacuum the rugs um, mop the floors take out the trash that's basically it so it's not it's not hard um got a lot of flowers here I, I might not even use all of this stuff we'll just play it by ear and see what happens orange where's my orange there it is yeah, that looks good there this is a little foam I want the center taken out of it and then um, try to get the sticky backing off yeah these are from when my daughter was young and, and uh, I don't like to waste anything I'm using them up it's taken me a while but I'm using them and another silk flower going a little crazy with the flowers on this one but it doesn't matter and another tiny little silk flower it landed on there so I gotta use it yeah that's my story and I'm sticking to it actually this looks like it's um, a couple of them stuck together yes it is okay if I just oh <laughs> They're stuck together all right. It's a double flower. Well, hmm. so I'm going to roll together a couple of small glue dots for that small flower. Might as well have a little cluster of flowers here. What the heck? Okay, so now I got this little thing right there I can go okay and then of this this button I'm just going in with the help of the button right there um so I need I need a little rhinestone to put in the middle of that little tiny flower and they're mix and match just use stuff up that's my goal I think I will add this here just using stuff up <laughs> and oh what the heck right there no rhyme or reason just a fancy creation okay now whew, I got a little crazy with my my little um things to, to glue on the edge and no I am not going to use them all no way okay so I, go, I better lay this out so I want my Victorian house there looks like I rounded the corners but I didn't Okay, and this I put on there so I can journal on it if I want to. This is um, 
something I made. I, I cut some circles and squares and rectangles and then I took some uh, just strips, some scraps that I had. It's just the little pieces that what are you going to do with? And I glued them onto the circle or shape and then I cut them out and it's not even a good circle. It's it's pretty crooked. I think I'll straighten it up just a little bit, but it, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's a little bit better. So I'm going to wedge this behind here, just for no reason. Put that there, and that there, and that there. Okay, so these are my little scraps I can use on another page. This was out of a scrapbooking catalog, and I think these are stamps you can buy, just a sample of things you can do with the supplies you buy. And I cut it out. I cheated. <laughs> um, I think I'll, I'll put that right there. Um, this here. This here, I've got this this um, Brad, a button down here, a flower, I'll put the flower up here, and another tiny little silk flower. Might as well do a cluster again. Okay, ready to start gluing. I didn't really have a plan. Usually I have it more, I know where things are going. But today I just toss them around and see what lands where and, and we can use it. You, you don't have to think a lot about what you're doing. Just use up your stuff and make it random. That's the way I like to do it. My cat wants to come in here. He's talking to me. I can hear him. Can you hear that? Hear my cat? I'm going to hop up and let him in. Come on, butterscotch. He just better not walk across my desk. Oh, now he's not coming in. I, I just cracked the door. He can push it open if he wants to. But he's not coming in. All right. Put that right there. I don't know how long this video is going to be, <laughs> but you can just craft with me and, and listen to me jabber for no reason. Okay. See, this was the corner of a piece of paper and it got a little raggedy, but you know what? I'm even going to let it be seen just for a little character. Got a little bit of a rickrack stuck on the back of that. Okay, now that's not very sticky. for this brad. I don't, I don't have any kind of a tool except this. Um, just for no reason I'm going to put it right there. I just poke a little hole. Straighten out these pegs a little. And poke it in there. There. Now this is not where I originally planned to put that, but I'm going to put it right there. Oh, I got a bird. I got a bird. Yeah, I love birds. There's a nice place for a bird. That might have was going to go on the back. Other one. Whatever. So what else do I have? I got three silk flowers here. Get the backing off of this one. 
Well, it's not silk. This one is this one is this one is paper. It's, that's a nice sticker I bought. This one is um, foam. This one's uh, that paper with the rhinestone, and this one is this another silk one. So, okay, I need the tiny glue dots. It's kind of bare over here. And then a medium glue dot. Then I need a rhinestone for the middle of that one. I would put one on there, but I don't want it getting too thick. Okay, there's another one done. Okay, I got this pretty lady round my corners. I need some words for this one. This one I'm going to cut off that white edge and round the corners. It's like flowers in a balloon. It's like an air balloon, but it's flowers. An air balloon with a basket. Just for no reason. I've got my trash can here. I only put stuff in there that I can recycle. That's like my little recycle bin, my paper. Then I got this little paint can. It was bright pink and I covered it with rosy um, contact paper so that it matches my other stuff. But I put my glue sticks and my sticker backs in there because that's not really recyclable. So this will go here. Oh, I was going to put this kind of behind there like this. There's my little um, yellow stuff for the edges. Got a butterfly. Got a flower. I need a word. A word. That's for my next order. Let me see. Okay, this says good times, but it's got an arrow pointing the wrong direction because I always put my border on this this side of my page so I don't want it pointing off the side so I'm taking that off okay all right I'm ready to start gluing So it's getting pretty cold here today. We had a bitter, bitter cold last week, and I even took Wednesday off. Today's now Tuesday, following week. Uh, I took last Wednesday off because it was 
It was so cold I was afraid my car wouldn't start when I left to work. I keep it in the garage at home, so I wasn't worried about that, but I was afraid it wouldn't start <laughs> when I left, when it's time to leave work, so I took the day off. But now, then we got a warm up. Yesterday it was beautiful. It was like 50 degrees. In the, the last Wednesday it was like 12 below in the morning. And now, um, it's got pretty cold today. It's, the wind is so cold. This isn't yellow, it's brown, but I want a Victorian look, so that'll work for me. Um, I think I'll put, this is not sticky. Hmm. I think I'll take, kind of take this, this off, pretty much, and add some big glue dots. Because that's just not sticky, and it's not very old either. Okay, I'll put one right there, and it's going to stick to my fingers. And one right there. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to put it right there. This is a sticker. I'm not trusting it. Good times. I'm going to put that right there. I think I need more stuff on this sticker. <laughs> <laughs> on this border but you know they're all different and some can have a little bit some can have a lot there's some flowers I got a silk flower here I think a large glue dot I'm gonna run out of this roll of glue dots the large ones but I do have another roll I don't have another roll of the other sizes all right I'm gonna put a large rhinestone in the center of that silk flower. I've got this. I'm going to put this on there. Oh, what else do we have in here? Just for no reason. I got that little foam flower. Pop the middle out take the back off. Boy, that back just came right off. It's not, it's not sticky anymore. It's old. Okay. I think I need something about here. And I'm going to call that one done. And now this one around my corners that's my thing yeah most of these have been printed off of Pinterest so far okay I'm gonna put this here in the circle behind it and my little papers hanging off the edge I've got the tag to journal on and memories to last a lifetime. I'm not going to put it on there long like that. I'm going to put it in two. Hmm. Making memories. I kind of like that. And I can add the button there. Just don't even think about it. Just, just, just create. on her face. I gotta clean off my blue board here.
seems like a lot of glue when it's spread all over your this is a cutting board from uh, uh, from Dollar Tree there's two in a package for a dollar it's nice and smooth and works good I've been using newspapers for since I started scrapbooking 18 years ago and I just recently started using this that was a good idea from a friend of mine Okay. Well, there's more to vacuum up off the floor, huh? Okay. So I got this. You can put a tag on a border. There's no rules for anything. You can do whatever you want. So I can write something on there. Put that there. Just think of all the little bits and pieces of stuff I've used up today. And how much more I've still got to go. I'll never run out. I keep I keep buying more, don't we all? Yeah, we all do. Alright. I think I'll use two glue dots on this huge button. Put it right there. I got this flower sticker. Right there will do. I've got these two things. Put one there, one here. Got a button. Okay. One of my subscribers told me she likes to mix blue with with yellow. Well, that sounds great. <laughs> I like blue. I really here's blue and yellow together. I really like blue and yellow together. But I'm so used to sticking with one color. I I should probably sometimes just start pulling out two colors and and mixing them sometimes just for something different. But then I I keep my organized by color, so that that's going to complicate things. Okay, I gotta get some more. I'll be right back. I gotta get some move some tags over here to play with. Be right back. I'm afraid pretty soon my battery's gonna run out and then we're just gonna be cut off. So if that's the case then then we'll be done for the day. My camera's getting very old. I don't know how long I've had it. Three or four years. It's a Kodak camera. This is a camera I use on vacations and take photos with. I've been using for years. It's what I'm using right now. Um, I, I don't know. It's just I like the camera <laughs> and it's I have a, a video camera and when I've tried to transfer a video onto my computer it, it, I, I would have to download some kind of an app to um, uh, that'll work with it um, it doesn't work with my camera so I've got this camera and it it's still got the original battery in it and I keep plugging it in and in and plugging it in and recharging it and but one of these days it's gonna fail me it's not keeping a charge for as long as it used to I've only got two pieces of paper there so I need another one and I got these little banners just for no reason this says joy little silk flower I did not plan this really I just started throwing stuff on the on the um this is just a little round uh, foam dot for no reason I put it right there 
for no reason. Then I need um, a rhinestone for the middle of this. I think I'll go with a small one because I'm running out of the bigger ones. So I've got plenty more, but I, I'd have to dig, dig around and find them. Okay. And my punch. Okay, I love making, I love the birds. That's kind of just helter skelter willy nilly, no, no rhyme or reason. I like it though. Okay. This one. I think I must have pulled out some brown instead of yellow. Cause I got a lot of brown on here. But that's okay. Okay. I'm just going to put this, this oval on there for no reason. Just to add a little interest. Going to round the corners on here. So I was on Pinterest just looking for ideas of stuff I can create with. So I found this cat with the yellow flowers because I'm looking for stuff with yellow. So I'm making this. Oh, I gotta get my little edges on there. I'm not gonna use these brown. Well, maybe one of the brown. I got three pieces of this brown. I'm not gonna use three. I'll use this. Yellow is probably not showing up really good. Oh, and, and when I was, I did a video before this one because I was almost out of um, border bases. So I made some yellow border base, bases. And the yellows were looking almost like neon. So if these yellows are looking like neon, that's probably not really right. Um, there's all different shades, but they're not really neon. says hello this is something I can write on if I want to I think I want the button right there I've got a silk flower. I'm going to go with large, whatever. I'm trying to finish off this roll. I got this little button, this little flower. Put it up there. And I'm going to put a rhinestone in the middle. Sometimes I use buttons, rhinestones, just about anything to put in the middle of a flower. Okay, and this, this petal is kind of stuck under there. And punch a hole. That's cute. Okay. a little girl. I'll glue on my edge pieces. I 
Looks like I got an extra one. This is um, something I cut out with the Cricut, not the Cricut, not the Sizzix. I don't have a Cricut, it's a Sizzix. And it, it got torn, but nobody's ever going to notice if I can help it. Okay. I might need to wash my hands pretty soon, I'm getting pretty sticky. This says charming. You, um, you can probably read it yourself. I don't know. But just in case it's not showing up well. I'm just telling you what it says. <sighs> I think I need. Where's that bag of embellishments? There it is. Oh, I got a heart. I was going to get a flower. Maybe I will get a flower too. Why not? Okay, heart. Flowers kind of over overlapping her flowers. Her little hat. Alright, there's another boat little tag. Um and this one. Oh, I put two words on there. Okay. So this this is a tag that was from the um, it was stickers in here, and I like the background of it. I think this was a branding strip right there. This, uh, do I want to know? I'm not going to round the corners. It's, it's sunflowers with a printed background. I, I like it. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to get this on here first. This is kind of like a tab. Put that on there. And then line this up like it's supposed to be part of that. Just to use it up for something. And then this sticker says, You are my sunshine. I think I will put that... Here? 
Sure. Okay. And then a button. I need something here. Here's a silk flower with some print on it. Okay, and then uh, one of my big rhinestones. I think I kind of need something right here. I don't know what. Rhinestones and country theme. I don't know how well that goes together, but oh well. Alright, that'll do. There's another tag. Okay, I got this angel I printed and I cut her out. Here's a, this is a back of a calendar. My Holly Hobby calendar, like 40 years old. I recognize it. And I glued some, uh, just scraps onto it. Just random stuff. Okay. So there she is. It says sunshine. This button has a glue dot stuck to it from another time I was playing. Let's see if I can get it off of there. Ugh, we're getting there. All right, <laughs> I can't get it off my finger. <laughs> That's never going to happen. All right. Oh, good, I got this. I got this flower. When I, I put my stickers over here, and then I forget about them. All right. Put that right there. A little bit more glue dot stuck on here. Oh, my head's not in there. Well, that's gonna have to do. Gotta punch it. Okay, let's see. Gotta do a small one now. And I was printing some cats yesterday. I don't know why, just no reason. Um, so, I'll show you the cat a little better when I get to it in a second.
so I hope you can see it. It's a vintage cat. Well, she's dressed like Renaissance time. I don't know what when that would have been. Colonial time, kind of. And it said justice down here. I thought, well, that don't really matter. I've got, I cut justice off. But she's holding the scales of justice. And what does that have to do with anything? I, but I'm going to use it anyway. Just because she's so cute. Okay. And then I, you are enough. Yeah, that'll do. Um, it's kind of a weird thing to say. button right there. Okay, that one's done. I'm going to grab a few embellishments that I made so that we can get some of those done on camera in case I run out of time on my camera. Alright, this is a sticker of a tag, and then there's a butterfly sticker. Um, I think I'll add a button to it just for no reason. I got a lot of buttons. Ooh, ooh, what? Okay. I like to have my stuff with words on it, but I don't think I'm going to put any words on this one. It's not really room. Okay, that's just a little embellishment for no reason. Okay. And then I got this one, and I added the caterpillar to it. I think for him I will add smile. Him or her. Uh, this is an arrow. I'm gonna hide like an arrow. Oh, but I'm gonna cover up the this design. That's not gonna do for me. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck now. Darn it. <laughs> um, I'm looking at some smile stickers right here. I'm just gonna add a smile sticker for no reason. No, no, I don't like that. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to call it good. Then I got this one. This a little tag. That's not very sticky. The, the other one's sticky. Okay, I'll add a glue dot. Come on, stick. Then I'm going to add this flower. Come on. There we go. Put a rhinestone on it. That's kind of cute. Okay. This is a little little um tag. I'm going to take the hole out. This is just a ladybug. This is just a scrap of paper that I turned into a little banner thing. that right there or maybe over this way a little bit more and then 
put this foam sticker on there. So there's a little embellishment. I don't make a lot of embellishments. Okay, I put this here's a here's a tag. I'm gonna punch the hole out of it. Um I put a sticker on this little banner, just a sticker with a ladybug. Um I want it like that. No, I want it like this. It's hard to decide. I think I will add a button to that. I might add some words to it later. If I got... I don't have any yellow little tiny words, but I got some other little tiny words I can add to these embellishments. Okay. I know this this battery's gonna run out soon and, and we're gonna say goodbye. This isn't even this is brown. It's not yellow, but that's okay. Got around my corners, it's 